Hey, it's Oliver. And Luca. And today, we're going to be talking about the Oculus Quest 3 and what's going to happen to the Oculus Quest 1. Alright, so as you can clearly tell, my cat joined in for the intro, so he's going to be here today. But anyway, to the actual point of the video. Alright, so today, we're going to be talking about the Oculus Quest 3. And, let's be honest, that's the reason you probably clicked on this video. So, yeah. We're going to be talking about that in a moment. But first, we got to talk about a couple things that's happening to Facebook, which is also called Meta Now. Uh, we'll tell you more about that later. Exactly. And Oculus. Exactly. So, as Luca mentioned, Meta. So, Facebook changed their name. We'll go a little bit later, uh, more into depth about that. However, uh, me and Luca the other day looked at a small update. Well, not small update. An update for Oculus. And there was a new feature in there. I'm not going to go too in-depth about it, but it was a feature yeah. about where if somebody walks into your Guardian, it'll let you know somebody's there. Anyway, so we were both, like, super excited. Because yeah, that, that is awesome. It's I, great. I didn't mean to no, it's okay. We always, we always wanted that feature. Like, because, you know, we yeah. both have cats and dogs. And, and they dogs. Just, they and walk in. He just know. goes in, and I just sometimes just walk in, and my dog or cat's lying down, and I just hear, like, my dog just starts barking at me as I'm just walking towards him with, like, a big box on exactly. my face. Exactly. So, it's a great feature. And then, um, like, the day after, I looked at the patch notes for it and discovered it was only for the Quest 2. So, what me and Luca were dreading is finally happening. The Quest 1 is slowly but surely being wiped off of Oculus's updating list. And before we talk a more about that... This does not mean it's time for you to get a Quest 2, even though if you haven't, I do kind of suggest it. It is just the beginning. Exactly. And we don't know the extent to this, but we believe that, that they're trying to slowly get rid of the Quest 1, which, yeah, I've definitely seen quality go down, but that's because I've had mine since launch, and Oliver also had his for like ever, and something I've realized, these headsets might be amazing, but I do not believe they're made to last. And that's exactly. because Oculus, not Oculus, but VR technology is, is new. Is so new. new that it's growing so rapidly, it's so hard to keep up exactly. with it. That's so, why you need a PC connected to it, because it was so hard to get like that much power running through one of these super amazing headsets. Exactly. And so basically what's happening now is I think personally, as, as it goes on, obviously, they will get better and they will last for longer. But the Quest 1 is definitely shows its age a little bit in certain things. Um, but it's not just updates from Oculus that are no longer on there. There's another game that me and Luca have always wanted. It was only on PC yeah. VR. And I got a notification the other day from Oculus, uh, the app, and it was like, this game is now here. And I'm like, oh my god, Luca. And I started texting yeah. him. And we were, and I got so, I was like, oh my god, it's on the exactly. Quest 1. Oh and god. then I looked at it, and it was only on the 2. So you can clearly see that stuff's happening. I think the reason why it's only on the 2 is because of graphic and, you know, performance, stuff like that. It, it, I'm not saying that Oculus is on purpose screwing you over by not allowing you to get the game. I think it's just the performance needed. This can't be obtained on the one. Exactly. However, though, that new update I was talking about where they didn't have the one feature, every other feature is there, just that one isn't. So they're still giving it updates for the time being. However, you're going to miss out on some features. It's like the new iPhones, basically, like how, you know, some of them only yeah, have one feature. Yeah, I can't feature. have new updates for a phone that still has the button to just being fully touched back. Exactly. So there you go. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what's going on with the Quest 1 right now. We kind of have a feeling that it's going to slowly go away. And I'm going to say right off the bat that it's no one's fault. Like I was trying to, I tr said before, we can't blame it on Oculus or Facebook or Meta or whatever <laughs> or who, whoever. It's nobody's fault. Or, or well, probably, who knows? Who, who knows, knows bro? Jeff, who like knows? Jeff Bezos might just be like, like Jeff screw Bezos, you. Bro. Jeff All Bezos, you Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Jeff, no, no. Jeff Bezos is probably like, screw you all. But we're talking about Mark Zuckerberg today. Yes, exactly. I cannot pronounce his last name. Um, He's, so, I don't yeah. think any of them are on purpose stopping you. But I, I just personally think that there's just the technology grows so rapidly exactly. that it's impossible for one headset that not connected to anything, which is the whole point can do that much at some point vr headsets will be just like playstations where they only redo them every five years or so 
Because if the process were at well, right the now... the PlayStation headset is really not that good. No, 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 no. I mean an actual PlayStation itself. Like, they only oh, release yeah, it every yeah, five yeah, years, yeah. right? Because they're so good at this it point. It started off as, like... Well, More it's the often. same thing with, like, PCs, you know? Like, every single year it, for, like... Uh, especially if you have a desktop PC, a lot of gamers... Uh, yeah. Like, de PC gaming desktop gamers... I had, like, a weirdly <laughs> long description for them... Uh, replace the parts on their PC to be up to date, up up to date. Exactly. Or they just replace their PC because that's how fast everything is growing. Computers exactly. are becoming so much more powerful, and the same thing can be said about headsets. Exactly. So anyway, so um, we're now going to touch on to Facebook renaming themselves a bit. So Facebook changed their name to Meta, and it's short for Metaverse. So basically, they're yeah, trying to yeah. make Mark Zuckerberg yeah. wants to make like copyrighted music down um mark zuckerberg wants to make like a world inside of vr where you could do like everything and inside of like ar and like everything he it's wants to have everything amazing. together Wait, it's it's, cool. that sounds really cool though. it's cool but it i mean it could be dangerous but you know besides that it's cool um it sounds a lot like the movie um um ready player one the one thing though is the the game created ready player one was created by a guy who just wanted to make a fun game for everybody and the main villain in that movie was a money-hungry guy. And then we got the owner of Facebook, a money-hungry guy, making exactly. this game. So yeah, I feel so like there's going to be a couple issues. It's going to be interesting. Face. However, anyway, this well, could no, turn okay. out in many ways. This is only like a concept kind of thing that they're saying that they're going to do this. It hasn't happened yet. Facebook is still Facebook for the moment. They say they're called Meta, but they haven't changed anything to actually called Meta yet. Um, however, anyway, besides that... Um, Facebook obviously owns Oculus. Well, Meta owns Oculus. So, for that reason, Oculus is going to be their main source of this metaverse where you could do everything you want. So, therefore, the like Oculus Quest 2 Anything? Is, well, I have no idea. Bro, they, tax fraud in virtual reality. Let's go. And if the government is listening, I do not commit tax fraud. Do not encourage people to do tax fraud. Except in VR. I mean, yeah, remember in Job Simulator? <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> bro um so yeah anyway so they're gonna be updating a lot of stuff for the metaverse so they're gonna slowly i think because the oculus quest one is not as powerful as we've said yeah. i think that's gonna slowly but surely drift away they're gonna keep the quest 2 however the, well the for quest 2 a bit the quest exactly. 2 actually if you is look a year old now. the actual physical part is kind of disappoint actually no i like it like that it's very like modern feeling but they changed the look just made it slimmer but it's actually way way more powerful when you exactly. do research and like when looking into it I w like when it originally released and when i originally saw it, i'm like this this nothing changed it's yeah, just we all thought now. it was the same thing and then you see the insides of it exactly that sounds weird but the that, part the it's moving more functions powerful. it's a lot more it powerful is it, it's just a hugely the resolution's more powerful a lot better and the uh, power is much more um if you make sure if you guys uh, we can't explain it here. We don't really don't really have anything to really tell you exactly, but uh, make sure to go check that out after this video. Yes, exactly. We don't have the statistics, but if you're curious about Statist the statistics, I like died there when I tried to say that word. Um, yeah, you can check those out. So anyway, um, Oculus is going to be changing. Well, Facebook and Meta are going to be changing towards this metaverse. So they're going to slowly get rid of the Quest 1. That leaves the Quest 2. The Quest 2 is now a year old. So, that brings us to a Quest 3. Now, I know you're thinking, you're saying, well, there hasn't been much talk at all for a Quest 3. Well, guess That's what? True. Neither was the Quest 2. Exactly. No one really talked about it. The, exactly. que the Quest 1 was like a huge talk, and then the Quest 2, they kind of just released. Huge success for them. Mm -hmm. So, why not go like 3 for 3? I'm sure it'd be a huge success if they had the same amount of upgrades. But maybe the reason was because the Oculus Quest 1 was really, really simple, you know. It's like the most, like the second most like basic VR headset. Well, actually, Still no. It was crazy, it was well. crazy powerful. Yeah. Better than the PlayStation. Better than the Oculus Go. Like, yeah. Everything. You could, like what we said, you could do everything up till literally this week. Every mm. single thing was one-to-one -one on both devices. For VR. AR, it like lacked. But then again, it's... It's... it didn't exist till this week. That was this update. Uh, yeah, they now they're things. starting to do AR. Exactly. So there's a couple things that the Quest 1 is leaving out. So anyway, that brings us to the 2 and the 3, which would most likely 
have the same kind of life cycle where the but quest two will eventually be taken out. Take some more time for them to actually release the quest three. Uh, the quest two is still fairly new. Well, yeah, exactly, because the quest two had a huge amount of like like the insides, like I said, mm -hmm. the moving parts way better now. That's the it's the front of quest one to quest two. Huge amount of upgrades to the actual internal part. There's a huge amount of upgrades because there was so much new stuff in that year. This year, there wasn't as much new stuff to come to VR, like as much new, like actually, like parts, like better cameras, probably, but so slightly better that it'd be like upgrading, like I think to the, the new, like a new phone to like another, like phone. It'd be pretty much being the same thing, like the. 7 to the 8. Exactly. So anyway, if For you're iPhones. wondering what to expect from the Quest 3, again, there are literally no rumors, but if we're going from what we well, think Well, actually, there are happen, rumors. There, there are, are. Okay, rumors, that's true. and I looked into there them are. before this video, and the thing that a lot of people are suspecting, AR. There's a lot of really yes. high-end headsets that can do it, and if there's so AR, they want to bring a huge amount to AR exactly. to uh, the general populace because it makes it so much more affordable. Than spending like ten thousand dollars on like an act the proper headsets. Exactly. So if there's AR, one thing I was gonna mention is most likely colored cameras. Finally, not black and white. Yeah. So that would be a great thing. Obviously, other things to expect would be a better display, better performance, probably another strap, and longer most likely battery life. Longer battery life, and most likely a redesigned controller, and maybe even cooling on the inside of the headset. Um, HTC, when they released their new headset. After the question, you know what? They actually, cool. they were probably waiting for them to release their new headset before designing their headset, probably. so they could be like, "Ha ha, yours is like several thousand dollars. We got a five hundred dollar headset that can do everything." Oh no, theirs is more expensive, dude. Huh? The a Oculus? Lot. No, the Oculus is nothing compared to the. No, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For your several thousand dollar headset, which is prof professional, yes, but like, what company is gonna spend that much money on headsets when? Other headsets do the, like the same thing. Exactly. That may be why they were waiting. Exactly. So but, Oculus will learn off of what they just did, what HTC did. And so anyway, that is what we expect to happen from the Quest 3. So in summary, uh, the Quest 3 is has a very high chance of releasing fairly soon. We're not saying like next month or something. but no, like, like probably like, within a year or yes. two, it will probably be released. And we'll probably get a lot more... Uh, news from it. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. And something else, once we get a couple more information, we will be making a video on the v new PlayStation VR headset because they teased it. We nobody has like no any idea what the flip if, it looks if like. If it's it better be a big upgrade. I'm yes. gonna be honest. I the first actual like VR headset I used was the PlayStation one. Got me into VR. Looking, taking my Oculus and like other headsets I've used. The PlayStation One is it's no competition at all. It. Nothing even, compared to it. I get it's old, but even for the time, it was old technology. Even exactly. for the time, it wasn't that good at all. Exactly. That's yeah. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. That is pretty much all we've got to say, I think. But we, uh, yeah. So we're gonna be ending it here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Quickly, we have like one announcement, and there's a competition for you guys. Yes. If we get a hundred views on this video, we will post a picture to social media, or well, all our social media platforms. <laughs> link in the description, uh, of the cat. The cat that the was cat. in this video that you didn't hear very much. But anyway, he was kind of like in the he back. Was, he was in the intro. He you also heard uh, a bird upstairs. I'll also post a picture. You know, if this video gets to two hundred, we'll post a picture of the bird as well. Exactly. But hundred for the cat. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And we will see you all next time. Yes, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.